we need to ask ourselves the question, what would we want to have happen to that leper? It needs to be removed, but should a hunter come in and kill the animal, or should it come here to a rescue facility and spend the rest of its life in a cage like these guys are inside here? That's the question that we need to find the answer to. There's no easy answer. Rescue facility is often a generous term. Inside is a big male known to have killed at least three people. He's a man eater. And so he's not a happy camper at all. He is not a happy dude, man. Whoa, son of a Did you see that? Legally, these leopards could have been put down. Instead, they're here. And to Steve, their story is an important one to capture. What are you trying to share with this picture? Part of what I want to show is the fact that he's in a cage. He is a big guy. Look at those paws. This is a very large animal. This man-eater has lost its canine teeth. Without them, the leopard is unable to take down its normal prey. One reason, it may have started attacking humans. True man-eaters are responsible for only a small percentage of clashes with people. And not all the cats that are locked up are convicted man-eaters. This young male was accidentally caught in a snare set for game. Flash up. For Steve, he shows another side of leopard-human conflict. God. Snares are indiscriminate. They don't catch just what you want them to catch. They catch whatever that steps in them. The leopard lost two toes and was brought here to recover. He was never released. He ended up in the snare because his world overlapped with ours. And now, he's locked up for life. 